You're watching the Samsung Galaxy S10 Lite disassembly. Now remove the SIM tray. All right, so in order to take the back off, you're gonna have to heat it up with either a heat gun or a hair dryer, whichever you prefer. The point is basically to heat up the adhesive underneath it so it loosens up and makes it easier to pry off. And just to let you know, the adhesive on the back of this phone is very strong, so it's gonna take you some time to pry it off. So once you got your back heated up, go ahead and insert your pry tool in one corner of the phone between the frame and the back plate, and then work your way around prying off the back. So here's the inside of the back plate. You got a small microphone over here as well. It makes contact with the board with these three gold contacts. And then there's a small slit right over here where the sound travels in. This is basically a secondary mic. Once you got the back plate removed, go ahead and remove any leftover adhesive around the back of the phone. Since some parts of the adhesive will be covering screws that you need to remove. You have 16 Phillips screws you need to remove so you can remove the top and bottom cover. Go ahead and remove those. Once all your screws are removed, lift up and remove the top cover. Next, we're gonna disconnect the battery cable by popping it up. And then go ahead and disconnect the rest of the cables. You have two wire cables over here in the corner. Disconnect those as well. And then disconnect your front facing camera. You have one Phillips screw holding down the main board over here. Remove that Phillips screw. Now you can just lift up and remove the main board. So here's a closer look at the main board. You have your three cameras over here. The middle one is the Super OIS camera or the Optical Image Stabilization camera. So here's a close up of the OIS camera right here. It moves around like a joystick. It's the first time I've seen something like this. You can get a lot of movement out of it. I guess that's what provides the super steady shots. You also have another microphone over here on top corner. So here's the back side of the board. You have your cameras connected over here. You also have graphite film over here on the back of the processor, which helps transfer the heat from the processor to the copper vapor chamber. And your proximity sensor is located over here on the top. And of course your SIM reader is over here. So on the mid frame underneath the main board, there's a pretty large 3D copper vapor chamber. It basically covers underneath the processor area and as well as the SIM reader which goes over here. And there's also a water damage sticker or a liquid damage indicator over here. Now we're going to remove the bottom cover and speaker assembly. So here's the speaker assembly over here. Now we're gonna go ahead and disconnect these cables. This over here would be your fingerprint reader. It's connected over here to the charger port board. Go ahead and disconnect that. And it's held down with two Phillips screws. You're gonna to have to remove those so you can remove the fingerprint reader. Here's a closer look at the fingerprint reader. Next, we're gonna disconnect the two wire cables 
that are attached on the bottom over here. You have one more Phillips screw located over here. You need to remove this so you can lift up and remove the charger port board. Once that screw is removed, just lift up and pull away your charger port board. So here's a closer look at the charger port board. You have your main microphone over here on the corner. And here's the other side of that. So basically if your charger port goes bad, you have to replace this whole entire board. Good thing is it's replaceable, so it's not something that's attached to the main board itself. So you do have a fairly large battery on the S10 Lite compared to the S10, and it has a rated capacity of 4,370 milliamp hours, and a typical capacity of 4,500 milliamp hours. You do also have another liquid damage indicator over here on the bottom next to the charger port board, and you have your vibrator motor over here. You have your earpiece over here on top, and your screen cable is this right here. So if you wanted to replace the screen, you would have to remove the back plate along with the top and bottom covers so you can gain access to the main board to disconnect the battery cable, the screen cable, and remove the charger port board. So you can have access to this cable over here so you can run it through the slit in the mid frame and pry the screen off from the front. And just remember when you're prying the screen off, apply some heat to the front to loosen up the adhesive to make it easier to pry off. And once you have your old screen off, you take your new screen cable run it through the slit over here in the mid frame and just reassemble the phone from there. Now as far as the power and volume buttons go, they're on the side over here. So you'd have to basically gently pry off this flex cable over here, which has the gold dots right here, which make connection with the board. You'd pry that up a little bit, be careful not to tear it. And you have a plastic bracket over here sitting in the mid frame. You'd have to slide that bracket up and just pop it off. And that'll give you access to removing the flex cable for the buttons. And once you remove your flex cable, it'll give you access to pushing in these buttons. So then you can remove them from the inside of the frame. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and reassemble the phone. Now once you got all your screws back in place, apply some new adhesive on the back of the phone, reapply your back plate. Then power on your phone and you're done. Thanks again for watching guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.